Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, what I have for you today is some Team of the Year spoilers. These were released today on the Madden NFL show. Guys, we have two cards, Richard Sherman, DeAndre Hopkins. Both of them are absolutely awesome items. Very, very excited to have these. Really cool card art as well. I want to point that out. Um, definitely like the way that these look and it, it's going to be awesome to see these actually play on the field for us as well. So, uh, obviously, guys, we've got the uh, 95 overall Richard Sherman on the left. We have a 96 overall DeAndre Hopkins. That's what the card art is going to look like. And then, guys, we did also get the information released on their actual ratings, or at least the ones that we care the most about. So, uh, let's go over here take a look at these ratings. Again, guys, on the top, we have DeAndre Hopkins, 96 overall. This is an upgraded version from his Ghost card, okay? His Ghost card was 94 overall, though. So we're talking about only a two overall upgrade. Uh, that Ghost card is actually still going for a pretty good chunk of coins right now uh, on on the current live prices anyway. If you go over and check those out on Mudhead.com. You're looking at about 185,000 or so on the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. Uh, prices, you know, range extreme on, you know, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 4. So we, I mean, it's really hard to know exactly what they're going to go for on those. But um, the 94 overall Hopkins, like I said, is a really, really good card. This one is a slight upgrade from it. The major thing that this one has an upgrade in, in my personal opinion, is speed and acceleration. Because we're talking about going from a 91 speed on his Ghost item and a 93 acceleration to a 94 speed and a 95 acceleration so DeAndre Hopkins goes from being one of the slower uh, probably just I guess possession receivers to actually having some potential to beat some cornerbacks deep and that's something that I think is going to be a huge advantage DeAndre Hopkins is, is a really really good wide receiver he is only six foot one so he doesn't quite have the go up and grab it deep ball abilities that some of these other guys do but the nice thing is that he does have 95 jumping so that's really good and his spectacular Spectacular catch is 97. Regular catching is 98. 99 catch in traffic. My goodness, that is ridiculous. <laughs> that is going to be very, very difficult to stop. I am definitely looking for this DeAndre Hopkins. I think it's probably going to go for pretty darn expensive when it comes out. I mean, we could really realistically be talking about a 750000 or more coin card when this card comes out. So uh, definitely a really good wide receiver. And then on the bottom there, we have Richard Sherman, who I think everybody pretty much knows at this point is one of the best corners in Mutt every year. He has just been an absolute animal for, I don't know, three straight seasons now in Mutt. And again, that is going to continue here as he gets this 95 overall card. This is an upgraded version from his team of the week limit time, limited time 24 hour card. Uh, that was a 92 overall and that one still is going for a lot of coins as well. If you go and look on the live auctions right now on mudhead.com guys go out, go out there and check that out by the way if you haven't gone to mudhead.com it's a really really cool tool, tool that they have. It's no longer estimates. It's actually live. You can go on there and see what the card is going for currently the cheapest buy it now price on the auction block. So that's really, really cool. Uh, but anyway, the uh, like I said, guys, the 92 overall Sherman was a really, really good corner. Going for about 277000 right now at the time of me making this video on Xbox One. And about 300000 on PlayStation 4. Substantially more expensive on the 360 and the PS3. We're talking about even 100000 or more coin difference. But um, the bottom line here, guys, is that we're going to be talking about one of the absolute best cornerbacks in this game. Sherman is really good because he's actually one of the tallest corners in the game as well at six foot three so that is extremely helpful he also has 96 jumping that actually did go up uh, to a 98 with this new card though so we went from a 96 on the team of the week to a 98 on the new card the other thing is that just like DeAndre Hopkins, we did see his speed and acceleration go up as well. Sherman was kind of a little bit of a liability trying to stop like deep streaks. Guys like Brashard per Perriman and, uh, you know, like Brandon Cooks and these other guys who are really, really fast, they could, in certain situations, if they get off press coverage, actually just beat Richard Sherman just based on their speed because he did only have a 90 speed on his previous card. This one, though, I think you're going to have a lot more luck with 93 speed, 92 acceleration, so that's pretty darn good. It's not the best, but it is still really, really good. Um, and then if you consider the fact that he has 99 zone coverage, that is absolutely ridiculous. And a 94 man coverage as well. So uh, he can play both 
in man coverage and in zone coverage and be amazing. 95 play recognition is going to help you jump on those routes. And, uh, you know, obviously, too, the 96 press is very, very helpful as well. His 70 tackling is still pretty darn mediocre. Um, that is, it's not the worst for a cornerback, but it is a slight upgrade from what he had at a 67 overall on his team of the week card. So, uh, like I said, guys, this card is a really, really good cornerback. We could very well be looking at a million coin card here when it comes out because there just aren't a lot of really good cornerbacks in the game right now. Not to mention people just love to have a Richard Sherman on their team. So uh, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you got some good information here. If you did, do me a favor, click that like button. And guys, we will have more videos coming for you tomorrow here on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for all the support. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys again soon.